another video. Uh, I'm at Rainforest Station today. Just got aggro down here. Probably shouldn't put my arms too far over the edge. But otherwise, saltwater crocodile there. Rainforest Station. So this is a sister park to where I work, which is Wildlife Habitat, as I've stated before. So the purpose of my visit today, I was keen to check it out. I want to check out all the wildlife parks and sanctuaries up here. But otherwise, I, as part of my employment, uh, I got free entry today and I get to write a review about the place which I think is pretty awesome that the uh, the group or the organization that owns wildlife habitat can zoom and wildlife dome rainforest station uh, and the butterfly gardens they'll allow you to go to each facility you write a review and it's coming from people who are in that field and and know uh, what it's all about like they obviously want the public's knowledge but otherwise if you can get yeah people who are in the know because I'll pick little things and I'll see things that I like and, and maybe I dislike and um, and yeah it helps out the company that way so that's why I'm here today so yeah located up in Coranda we are about half an hour or so from Cairns I guess I come from Port Douglas so it was an hour and a bit uh, but otherwise yeah beautiful location beautiful day it's not a huge place but otherwise it is uh, a little gem up here really and there's three three parts it's broken down into so you've got the wildlife park there's army duck tours, and then there is the uh, Aboriginal uh, Indigenous cultural displays. There you go, that's Jack, apparently, moving around now. And the uh, yeah, interpretive and, and interactive displays. There you go, getting distracted already. So, yeah, I, all my thoughts and opinions and all that kind of stuff, although there is an association between where I work and, and here, uh, I'm going to give, yeah, informed opinions and that kind of stuff, and, and genuine opinions about uh, what I like and and all that kind of stuff as well. So Jack's coming over. Probably not a lot of people see them moving around too much. And look at the size of him. Beautiful big estuarine crocodile, salty saltwater crocodile, whatever you want to call him, he is a unit. But otherwise, that's the plan for today. We'll go out, we'll see some wicked stuff. You'll see it all, uh, and hopefully there'll be a uh, Look at him, absolute unit of a reptile. So yeah, I assume today is gonna to be a bit more of a montage style, and um, there's not gonna be a lot of talking. Uh, pretty similar to Hartley's, I guess. You'll be saying a lot of what I'm saying. I'll stop, I'll talk, I'll, I'll give like your reviews about what's going on, but otherwise it'll be a lot of, uh, yeah, just say, seeing what I'm saying and, and little videos going on rather than a lot of explaining. I think that's, that's what works best with this kind of stuff. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll quit my ramblings, quit my talking, and we'll head out there and we'll see some cool stuff. So let's go.
Beauty. So adjacent to our sulkies, we've got a few freshies in this exhibit. Beautiful little crocs there. And then opposite, Mertens. Which I've already said, absolutely love the Mertens. Beautiful. Oh, and my best friend has a Mertens, which I absolutely love as well. You're welcome, Nick. But there you go. <laughs> so, some of the cooler stuff that's here, or cooler in my opinion, like you've got your dingoes, Tassie Devils, Wombats, some of the stuff that I suppose is, yeah, not exclusively uh, up here in the, the wet tropics in North Queensland, but it's something cool to, and iconic in Australia to, to have a look at, um, which I have not seen elsewhere uh, up here before. There's a couple of, well, there's an agile wallaby there. I think that's a swamp wallaby. But otherwise, tree kangaroos, koalas, there is a bit of overlap also uh, in what we're seeing. And these interpretive displays, uh, interpretive signs, are uh, really nice as well. I really enjoy them. There you go, a few more agiles. But yeah, we go montage. I'm going to get some names up this time uh, for what you're actually seeing. So as we go past animals, you see, can you see the animals it's hiding up in the corner back there? The tree kangaroo. But you'll see an animal, you'll see what their name is and their scientific name as well. Which I, uh, yeah, would like to try and educate some people on and, and show you what I'm seeing, basically. So there you go.
guys, I just finished up with the cultural dance presentation and the, uh, the Dreamtime Walk interactive uh, displays, which were epic. Uh, so good. Really, really enjoyed them. So, uh, yeah, for that part, there was uh, the Dreamtime Walk boomerang throwing, um, which was interactive. You got to do that and you sat back and watched uh, and it was explained to didgeridoo creation and playing and that kind of stuff. And then you went on and watched the, uh, the spear throwing with the Woomera. Uh, which yeah, I'll get photos up in a bit more of an explanation, I suppose. But the Woomera is just, um, yeah, an extent extender to be able to throw it, give it more power and that kind of stuff. So that was that was really good. Um, yeah, I was absolutely stoked with that. Uh, it was really good, really fun. Got a video of me, uh, yeah, doing the boomerang stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, but otherwise, the dance show um, and just like yeah, learning about the watching and listening and yeah, and learning at the same time was just on point. Um, and the attitudes uh, and welcomingness, uh, yeah, for lack of a better word, uh, was epic uh, with the with the employees uh, and the the yeah instructors there. So, uh, Rainforest Station hits the nail on the head, real real gem uh, with with those displays. And I think that was one of the main points. Um, the Army Duck just it's broken into three parts really. You've got your Army Duck tours, you've got your cultural stuff, and then you've got the Animal Park. So, although the animal park is a bit smaller, um, there's not a heap to do there. It wasn't the initial thing um, that the park really started up. So, otherwise, hmm. Alrighty guys, so just finishing up now at Rainforest Station. Awesome place, it's a little place. It's not huge, um, which I was slightly disappointed. I didn't really, I expected it to be a bit bigger from, I didn't have any other people tell me any different. I mean, just in my head, I expected everything to be massive. Uh, but everything's not going to be massive. So for what it was, it was fantastic. It was an excellent place, definitely worth the visit. Uh, the Everything has its own little thing going on, which is awesome. There's a nice little taste of wildlife, uh, but otherwise the army duck and the interpretive displays and dances and uh, indigenous stuff was epic. So if you didn't have the wildlife park, it'd still be awesome. The wildlife park was excellent, but it was really small and, and mostly for me, loving wildlife and that kind of thing and wanting to see a lot of cool stuff. I was sort of like, ah, oh, it's a little taste. It was great, don't get me wrong, 
but otherwise, uh, yeah, if you're coming, if you want to see some cultural stuff, you'll go on the army duck tours, you'll be pleasantly surprised, and the wildlife park is just cherry on top kind of thing. Uh, but if you're coming just for wildlife, then I suppose you're going to be even more impressed because of the other stuff, really. So there you go. Favourite part was probably the, uh, yeah, the indigenous stuff and then the, the army duck tours, which was, was awesome. Uh, because you just you know, meander through the, the bush and that kind of stuff, go through the water being an amphibious vehicle. So that was epic. Um, and yeah, it was an awesome little gem really. So for the size it is, it really punches out uh, an excellent, uh, yeah, sorry, just check my watch. Basically, I've been here the whole day. I got here at 9.30 and it's one o'clock now and I'm pretty happy and, and have seen everything. So uh, yeah, stay a bit longer, but otherwise it does close at three or four. I'm pretty sure I've seen two different things, but otherwise definitely worth the visit, especially if you're coming up to Coranda. It is an excellent little place really. So I really did enjoy it. More wildlife would have been excellent, but again, you can't really fault it otherwise. Um, and that's just my opinion wildlife wise. Everyone else seemed to be having a ball. Everyone's got different opinions. So there you go. So yeah, Rainforest Station, definitely give it a, a look at. I really had a great time. And um, and yeah, now off and uh, yeah, back on with the, the travel to, uh, to Port Douglas and whatnot. So cheers for watching guys. Not sure how long this video I'll go for based on the amount of footage I got. But otherwise, uh, yeah, have a good one. Cheers for watching. Seize the day, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, enjoy life. Catch you around.